In this problem, we're going to solve the following differential equation. Solution. This is a Cauchy-Euler differential equation because the power of x matches the order of the derivative, the power of x matches the order of the derivative, and here you can think of it as x to the 0, y. So the power of x matches the order of the derivative. You can think of y as being the 0th derivative. So to solve these, you always start by letting x, uh, sorry, by letting y be equal to x to the m. And then you take the derivative and you plug it into the de. So here we use the power rule. So you bring down the m, then you subtract 1, so you get x to the m minus 1. Then we do it again. So now you bring down the m minus 1. You still have m, then you subtract 1, so you get x to the m minus 2. Now we plug everything into our differential equation. So we have 3x squared, and then we have y double prime, which was m minus 1, m x to the m minus 2, plus 6x, that's this piece here, and then we have y prime, which is right here. So m x to the m minus 1, plus y, which we said was x to the m all equal to zero. So when you get to this step, it's always the same. What you can do is you can combine these powers of x, okay? So you have x squared times x to the m minus 2. You can add the exponents. 2 plus m minus 2 is m. So we get 3 m minus 1 m and then x to the m plus here we have 6 m and then x to the 1 times x to the m minus 1. When you add the exponents, again, you'll get x to the m. And here we have plus x to the m. It's all equal to 0. So now we can pull out x to the m. So we have 3 m minus 1 m plus 6 m plus 1 bracket equals 0. Then we would divide by x to the m to get rid of it. So these cancel. So let's see what happens. We can go ahead and distribute at the same time. might make it a little bit easier. So, um, well actually I'll rewrite it. So 3, I'm going to put the m first. So 3m, m minus 1, plus 6m, plus 1, equals 0. Now we have to solve uh, this equation for m. So I think a good step here would be to distribute this 3m. So 3m times m is 3m squared. Then 3m times negative 1 is negative 3m. Then we have plus 6m and plus 1, and that's all equal to 0. So we have 3m squared. Let's see. Negative 3m plus 6m is 3m. Then we have plus 1, and this is all equal to 0. Good stuff. All right, so how do we solve this? Um, well, we can complete the square, or we can use the quadratic formula. Um, let's go ahead and use the quadratic formula. So a is 3, b is 3, c is 1. The quadratic formula, if you recall, says that m is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, so this m here is going to be, let's see, b is negative 3, b is 3 rather, so we get negative 3, plus or minus, and then b is 3, so when we square it, we get 9 minus 4, and then a is 3, and then c is 1, all over 2a. So 2 times 3. Looks okay. So m is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root 9, and then 4 times 3 is 12, so we just get uh, negative 3 all over 6. So if you break this up, we get negative 3 over 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 3 over 6. So that's negative 1 over 2 plus or minus i square root of 3 over 6. So we have complex conjugate roots of the form alpha plus or minus beta i. 
So in this case, alpha is negative 1 half, and beta is the square root of 3 over 6. Okay, so let's go ahead and write the answer out. So the form for this is y equals x to the alpha bracket c1 cosine beta ln x plus c2 sine beta ln x. Okay, so this will be y equals, this would be x to the negative one half bracket c1 cosine and then beta is the square root of 3 over 6 so we have that and then c2 sine and again beta is the square root of 3 over 6 and we have the ln x pretty scary looking answer All right so just using the formula and carefully plugging in alpha and beta i hope that helped